Hi, I am Sabina Ahmed again. Welcome you all to Basic Math Lab for Sciences uh, Lecture 2. Today we will uh, uh, learn about matrices and matrix operations. In this course, the, uh, in this lecture, you will get uh, more idea about matrix and matrix operation. That means how you can do matrix addition, matrix subtraction or matrix division, something like that. You will also get some idea about uh, some matrix functions. For example, how you can determine uh, de determinant of a, of a matrix, how you can operate an inverse of a matrix, how you can determine a ra rank of a matrix. And there are different types of functions are there. So you will get some idea about that. Okay. So these are the functions we are interested to find out in this lecture today, basically. And besides this, there are other some functions I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you about that. So. Uh, I hope you have some basic idea about matrix. For example, taking below what is square matrix or a singular matrix or is non singular matrix or non integer matrix. How we can do that in but something like that. Okay. So, so these are the functions. Bold, bolder, bold words are the functions we will use. This. For example, this is E I G eigen values to determine eigen values and eigen vectors. C H O L to uh, less factorization and something like that. I N B is how you can calculate inverse matrix of a matrix uh, LU factorization, QR factorization, SQRTM, square matrix, poly characteristic, polynomial, determinant, uh, determinant, and size, size. So we will see that if we will uh, use those functions and you from the MATLAB website, mathworks.com documentation center. So Mathworks.com documentation is really, really really powerful and this website uh, for MATLAB tutorial and MATLAB uh, programming. So we are going to learn from there. Then we'll go to the MATLAB software. Okay. So this is the Mathworks. Uh, Mathworks.com help MATLAB elementary matrices and error documentation center. So from here I am gonna give you overview of some MATLAB functions especially block diagonal diagonal i false uh, match grid grid one random two zero something like that the function so there is one function is blk diagonal block diagonal function constant block diagonal matrix input functions so if we go over there so uh, if you want to make a matrix uh, putting some diagonal uh, giving some diagonal values for example if we uh, this one is the one one value two two one one means one number one row number column two the values then it will automatically create a diagonal uh, vertex for example a b c d and so on okay so if you see for example if you want to make a bad uh, block diagonal matrix x is equal to for example b l k block D, D I G diagonal okay block D I G so okay if we put one comma two comma three comma four comma five then it will create a uh, what happened let's see what that D L K D I A G sorry D I A G I made a mistake D I A G so yeah so you see here these are the one one this is a two two uh this is the three three this is the four four and this is the five five okay so we can create a block diagonal block diagonal matrix using the block diagonal functions in later uh we'll make these functions how we can make this because it's a built-in function right so we, we, we didn't have we didn't do anything for this function just to have put this but in later in numerical courses later I'm gonna upload some tutorials about computational numerical uh, numerical analysis so in that courses you learn how to create this function and how to uh, create inverse map how to make a functions to make some matrix inverse or determinant something like that okay so so these are the diagonal uh, block diagonal matrix construct block diagonal matrix from output argument. Okay, let me go back. So input matrix. Yes. 
Oh, okay, go there. So, okay. Block diagonal, diagonal i. So we have already seen i. So what is false? False means it's like a one, zero. Then it will create the zero, and then that is, for example, if you want to see false and and n, n. So if you want, if you want to see false, if you want to see false five, it will create the false logical value zero. So all the matrix will be the zero, logical zero, definitely. Okay. Hey, anyway, we can. Uh, True, it will work like as one and logical one, okay, and it will create a logical zero. Okay, one, so we know about that ones, we know about that zeros, we know truths, one. Random is nothing, it will create the random values, okay, but we are interested in mesh grid. This is really, really very important. I'm going to emphasize on this function especially because uh, we need to use this function in numerical solution part especially when you will see you, you will do a numeric computation and numerical code uh, you will see that this value has very great importance because we have to make some grid okay the rectangular grid it's not a matrix it, it, it will create a grid but it will uh, it will not um, create a value of, of those points it will create a two-dimensional and three-dimensional space grid right so so if we give some values x g v and y g v it will be stored x g v will be stored in here x and y g v uh, will be stored here in y okay so if we and z if we have z then it will be stored in y so if we uh see the example for example mesh grid x is a function okay uh and that means um hard brackets x comma y equal to mesh grid so x values one Column three, that means one to three, column one to three, uh, and ten to fourteen. Ten to fourteen, right? So it will be ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So one to three, that means uh, uh, it will create uh, one, two, three, four, five, ten. So we have here uh, ten to fourteen, that means 10 11 12 13 14 that means the five right so it will create the five rows and automatically it will also create the five rows here so it will create the grid from this and it will be the x values and it will be y values for example if you want to create the magic grid minus 2 up to 2 with interval 0.2 then uh, minus 2 that means in y values mean y y in y axis if you get minus two of the same and if we create the z so for example x and something like that then we'll get this function okay so we can go to the math lab and we can create this okay Let, let's copy this and to math lab it will create a grade error okay so we know the x and y values right so we know the x x x equal minus two one point because it's zero point two interval so minus two minus one point uh, one point eight uh, minus one point six something like that okay so now if you plot this uh, there is a function plot 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 that is graphical function now i'm gonna i'm going to teach you more about the graphics in next tutorial that means in lecture three so you'll understand more about uh, uh graphics uh learn in next lecture so x comma y so we have got a values here so if you um, grid value right so if you want to another create a mesh value for example x comma y mesh 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 oh mesh mesh create one to ten uh, we want to ten and also in y value was one to ten okay so we have got this one to one to ten so if you want to plot 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 x to y x comma y then we'll see this one to ten here up to <coughs> one to ten so if we 
read on yeah I did read on then you'll see yeah this is a grid okay. so we can create a grid right this is also kind of matrix but you can create a grid so uh, what is the value of this the value of this is 2 2 right what is the value of this that is it's uh, 6 6 or the value of this uh, row x is 7 y is 6 so 7 6 something like this so you can create this so this the mesh grid is very important to us uh, especially for numerical calculation numerical and an analytical part okay there is another so mesh grid we can calculate uh, a rectangular grid in 2d and 3d space but another we have another functions here in MATLAB uh, is n grid so we can the n dimensional n dimensional space so it can be two three four five six so we can also calculate um uh, n we can also calculate 2d and 3d calculate using all, uh, n degree so more than this we have to calculate n degree we have to use n degree okay so these are these are the uh, this mesh grid is really important for us i think we should understand uh, very clearly about mesh grid and n grid if you want to make some numerical course and understand numerical part of make it because in finite difference method we do work with grid and that's why we need to make some grid or uh, make some special domain in grid format uh, using this so we have to understand that in finite difference math okay so so these are the basic uh, uh, functions we have to make you understand okay let's get into the uh, matrix operation okay so linear underground we can go to over there so matrix operations we have some matrix operations uh, we have some other functions for example if you go to the math lab mathematics linear algebra you will get it into this matrix operation cross product we know the vector cross product vector cross dot product and chronic tensor product uh, subsystem uh, lower triangular part of matrix and upper triangular part of matrix so you can get this okay so let, let's examine the till lower triangular part of matrix for example mm, let's go so here is till tri triangular l that means lower tri u that means upper okay dot means vector dot product and vector cross product okay so we're gonna examine this one tril tru okay so let's make another vector uh, for example x equal to 1 to 5 Come on, one to five, one to five. Come on, sorry, I made a mistake. I think I should put comma here. One to five, okay. I think I didn't make mistake here. Okay, so uh, I made a, I made a, uh, matrix uh, of uh, 1 2 3 4 4 1 2 3 4 5 uh, 4 into 5 dimensional matrix so if you want to calculate if you want to know what is the lower uh, uh, triangular matrix of this so T R I L lower that means this lower would be diagonal part would be here trial L will be X if you put X then we'll get this lower part of this matrix if you want to calculate tri u x then you will get the upper uh, upper values of this here okay so i think you have understand what are all those about so these are some important functions so you, you can uh, exercise from from here because we, we do have some time limit that's why you cannot show you all the details of the function so if you go uh, linear linear equations, I'm gonna skip these linear equations at this moment because we will do more more details in next course computational numerical analysis. So in uh, in that course we will understand how we can solve linear equations and we will create some matrix functions 
and like everything a lot lot of thing will do that about that in computation so matrix decomposition so there are some uh, compositional functions um, if you want to do Tolesky factorization Taylor matrix decomposition there are lots of things you can do that here easily okay so I'm going to emphasize uh, I'm going to give my emphasis on some very important things for example eigenvalues uh, eigenvectors uh, would you have some eig eigenvalues and eigenvectors so you can calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for example um, if I if I want to calculate uh, eigenvalues and eigenvectors eigen it's function so for function you have to put here for eigenvalues and eigenfunctions so it will calculate eigenvectors and eigenvalues for example a b and a will be calculated by the vectors a will be the vectors and b would be the uh, values so yeah, if i am not if i am not wrong okay so um, i'm going to calculate the x matrix must be square so it's not a square matrix so we must be so we must uh, so we can add another column here one to five so i think you if you do mistake then we can learn because if we want to calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors we know very well right so we must have a square matrix is a square matrix one two three four five one two three four yeah so right now we can calculate this x here, here. yes so these are the eigenvalues if i'm not wrong and these are the eigenvectors so let's see the first values here. Mm, what is b or is d uh, uh, D is a uh, uh, eigen values and first one is the vector eigen vector so first values is a vectors and second values is a D is eigen values so uh, we've got the same thing yeah so these are the eigen vectors right and these are the eigen values of this so this is very easy so we have some other functions as well to understand so eigen values these are very important function here in MATLAB okay so again factorization so i think matrix square root so we can if you want to do that matrix square is nothing sqrtm then we can calculate the square root for example if you want to calculate sqrtm sqrtm for example, for example x yeah we have got this it's good warning matrix singular and may not have square root something like that yeah so there are some other different functions you can use and you can learn from math work that's very good documentation and so again values and similar values so matrix analysis determinant uh, inverse matrix and something like that so we know determinant or what the determinant is right so we can also tell with the determinant for example we want to get the determinant of x zero <laughs> this determinant is zero so it's all right determinant is x so if you want to put a here determinant of uh, for example b you will get zero yeah okay so you can calculate determinant and there is another function inverse i and b the inverse of x so what is inverse i and f that means uh matrix is singular to working precision so so we can calculate this inverse matrix determinant uh, round matrix reciprocal condition number estimates something like that. okay so these are the matrix functions and there are other some matrix functions uh, if you want to calculate logarithms matrix exponential matrix logarithm matrix square root and apply element by element binary operation of two arrays with single bar. so we can do that and all the methods all the procedures are given here so if you want and if you want to calculate if you want to learn more about this please explore this because MATLAB's documentation is really this and if you want to learn i must re i recommend you to go through this website okay okay so these are the some matrix functions and metrics so i'm i am now 
teach you about the matrix operations that what is matrix operations matrix operation is nothing there are some operators we know the plus minus uh, multiplication sign that means into um, uh, power values transpose um, matrix left division matrix right division and left division center division so how we can do that we will see so matrix a plus b uh, matrix a plus b will give you the uh, how we can add two vectors uh, uh, array addition and matrix addition are identical to subtract we will see, we will see that in, in later so multiplication array and matrix okay so i'm i'm going to make something clear about array and matrix uh, matrix is two dimensional and array, array can be one dimensional or two dimensional or three dimensional it doesn't matter so for matrix we do not have to put a dot but in in multiplication of array we have to put dot here but in matrix we do not put here but at the same time for matrix left division we do not put any a uh, dot here we do not put any here but uh, if you want uh, array left division then we have to put a, um, a dot here what does this mean this just means element by element division that just mean if you want then big uh, is divided by ai ai right the same thing element by element uh, right division then you have to put a dot here but if you want the whole matrix left division and the whole matrix right division then you don't have to put but we do not we do not want the element by element division we do not we do we just want to uh, whole matrix left division or right division right so i'm going to do that so from this it is very obvious that the both matrix must be uh, same, must have the same dimension right here a and b so we must have the same dimension limit otherwise you cannot do that uh, what about the, here also same um, power exponential the same uh, same uh, we, we, do, we do need a uh, same dimensional matrix the for errors multi multiplication of errors we do have the same dimensional matrix okay but uh, we do not uh, we do not need sometimes same dimensional array but uh, same dimensional matrix but uh, we can do that here so let's go to the math lab and see um, we do have a and b the same dimensional uh, matrix so we can uh, add a plus b let's see yeah, yeah. we can do that because the same dimensional right so a minus b we can do that same dimensional so a dot multiplication b for multiplication we have to put uh, we, we have already seen that for multiplication we have to we have to put dot sign because it will multiply with element by element mul multiplication okay so let's see here element by element multiplication because uh, why zero because uh, we have b matrix here it's almost zero here right that's why you've got this okay so a dot slash b then let's see sometimes infinity yeah this we do have this is there's some um um inf is infinity so we, we have zero right okay so what we can do let's some um, right division a divided by b then what will happen let's see a divided by b it will see warning matrix is singular to working express so it can be done but uh, it can be singular singular matrix right so you, you know the singular matrix okay so let's see the left division and right division of array a dot slash b is the array it, it calculates something so for example our a dot left division b in calculation because we, we do have some zero values here and and we can calculate this here yeah. right and we have got this so we can but we cannot do that uh, a b here yes we, we, we can do that matrix results may inaccurate sometimes the condition um this so we can do that here easily so left division that division is very important to us uh, especially if we are interested in uh, linear algebraic solution so for that reason we need matrix left division and matrix right division so for example we can do that here for example make a matrix a equal to for example 1 comma 3 comma 5 
comma seven. Okay. Six comma eight. One two three. One two three four. Comma nine. Okay. So. Three comma two comma four comma five comma eight comma one two three four okay six there five comma seven comma eight comma nine okay so what is this oh I didn't put comma here I made a mistake <laughs> just put comma no because the same it might be same right yeah so it is about mm, it has four rows one two three four and the four columns right but uh, if you want to add division okay then we have the same other at least the same in number of rows we need the same number of rows so we need a one two three for example b with the same and uh, so one four six four, right is a four column right here Right, one, two, three, four. So we want these values divided by this. The, what does the right to right means? Inverse of a divided by b. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you about that. In so what is a uh, matrix left division and matrix right division inverse? Inverse a. That means what does this mean? A uh, left division b. This this mean inverse a into b. A, uh, inverse is inverse of matrix a. So same time right division inverse b divided by inverse here inverse a okay inverse b is a, a, a inverse of uh, b so let's see here in so if we a right division by b then we'll get answer here okay so if you want to have again inverse a b will it happen no it will not because uh, you, this must be a multi-dimensional and this must be a b must be a one-dimensional, right? One-dimensional means the one column vector of this. That's why. So if you can be uh, a right division, a so let's see. Yes, it will get a column, one column. So I will give you more more tips, more uh, basic ideas of this to numerical courses because it's the parts of numerical uh, numerical solutions in the <clears throat> next course okay so this is this is i think this is the end of this lecture oh we didn't see the transpose matrix transpose transpose matrix is nothing but you know column will be changed to the rows and rows will be changed to the uh, column so we can uh, make it transpose vectors a of a uh, we can say for example t is equal to a prime if you Time, then uh, the row changes to the column and column columns are changed to the row okay row so this is the ways how we can make this transposition transport matrix okay so i think we are at the end of our lecture so we have already uh, uh, get an idea about uh, we have gotten about the idea about magic so yep so we are at the end we are at the end of our lecture so next lecture i'm going to give you an overview of graphics that means how you can make plot how you can use graphical illustration in programming here okay thank you very much for being with us and if you do find uh, any difficulties please write us and we will try to solve those problems and please apologize me because of my poor english and i'm not from native english i'm not a native native English speaker so please apologize me and pardon me thank you very much for being here and see you in next video